Hello, this is uh, Impact. It's the show about the people who make an impact on your life here in Mountain View. And I'm Robert Cox. I'm the vice chair of the Old Mountain View Neighborhood Association. And this is our special guest, Laura Macias, a former mayor of the city and current council member. Correct. So we have an interesting cooking segment here tonight. <laughs> Laura, tell us what are we about to do? Right. We're going to make uh, guacamole and talk about politics, I guess. Is, yeah. that, is that the deal? Yeah. We're going to kind of talk, cool, talk and guac. Talk and guac. Talk I and like guac. that. So, I like um, that. Yeah, so I thought this would be kind of fun. Um, this doesn't take too long. It probably takes less time to make this than it does to go to the store and, and um, pick up a prepackaged uh, container. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's do so, it. So um, this is just standard style guacamole, the way that uh, you probably see it everywhere. We've got a very ripe, very ripe avocado. Uh, sometimes the stores help you out. They tell you it's ripe. There you go. Um, and if you don't believe them, you should actually feel it with your thumb and, and press down on it. And if it gives, then you know it is ripe. Okay. But if it doesn't give, don't, don't use that avocado mm -hmm. for your guacamole. And then the tomatoes we're using, I've got two kinds. They're um, both organic. Um, this is an heirloom um, that's in season right now. It's kind of fun. And mm -hmm. then this is a regular um, tomato for just just organic tomato on the vine. Did you get those in your garden? or? I, no, I oh. wish I did. I got these at the farmer's market. I see, cool. Yes. Yeah. Downtown Mountain View, everybody. That's right, Sundays. that's right. <laughs> and, and then we have some green onions we're going to be using. Right here. And also some um, garlic. Mm -hmm. And then I did cheat for the chilies. I did not roast the chilies. You can do that if you want to. Um, I didn't want to because it takes okay. a long time. So we're just going to be using some chilies for um, the guacamole. Sounds so we should cool. get chopping and then we can yeah, start talking. Yeah, we should. Yeah, I heard that. Uh, uh, start with these onions here. You were yeah. telling me. You know, like yeah. Tied and quartered or something like that. Huh? Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good. Take about four of them. Wow, okay. Uh, make sure you top off. Uh, Take off the tops. Take the tops off. And take off the bottom. So you're oh, left okay, with okay. Well, we'll get it just get the, get the going tender with edges here. there. And I'm yeah, going to start what are you gonna chopping. Do? I'm going to start chopping the um, okay, that's pretty cool. tomato because it's easy. Wow. And we're just, I'm just so, really going to look for chunks here. That's cool. Yeah. Hey, so uh, I've heard that uh, you've been on council for how many years now? Oh my gosh, it's seven years. I can't believe seven it. Seven years. Yeah. Huh? I got elected in 2004. And um, so here we are, 2011. Wow. Yeah. And and uh, but most people, when they get uh, to be on council, they don't just start uh, running for council, right? They do some things before that. Yeah, I think it's a good idea to spend your time in Mountain View, um, getting to know Mountain View. And so I did that. I started in um, park, the Parks Commission, which I love, mm -hmm. and I loved it so much that um, I spent seven years on parks. Oh, really? Thought, yeah, it was really fun. Were there any notable parks in Mountain View that came uh, uh, up? Absolutely. Um, which ones? Well, we worked on uh, getting Devonshire Park. We worked mm -hmm. on the Sierra Vista Park. Oh, okay. Um, so we worked on actually getting Mercy Bush uh -huh. um, approved. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, there was there was wow. lots of parks. The Hatchetchee Trail, and of course, um, parts of the Stevens Creek Trail as mm -hmm. well. So we, we had a lot to do. Mm -hmm. um, when I was in parks, we actually worked out a whole standard mm -hmm. for parks and people. Cool. And we never had a standard before, so that was Oh, of, okay. What, what does good. it mean, a standard for oh, parks? Oh, well, we want to have um, 3,000 acres. No, 3,000 acres. Um, three, uh, what is it? I'm going to confuse it. Three. Uh, now, a thousand acres for every. Three, three acres per thousand residents. Thank you. Is that how, I can't how it goes? forget. I can't remember what yeah, we did, but we I've did heard it. Heard that yeah. quoted before. Yes. So that was part of it. Uh huh. So yes, yeah, so I, I spent seven years on on um, parks, and then I did uh, the planning commission. Okay. Um, but between mm. you and me. Uh huh. Which did you like better? Parks is more fun. Parks is more oh, fun. Oh yeah. That's probably why they made that TV show about parks and recs instead I think of about so. the planning commission. I right? think so. Although I'm pushing for an idea of like, you know, you have to have a show to follow up, kind of like that's uh, right. Frasier after Cheers, you know. Like you want to do, uh, <laughs> they could do a little show on Mountain View City Council. There you go. There that you would go. be an interesting show, wouldn't it? So, so um, how, how are your? I. That looks pretty good. Okay. Um, but what I'd like you to do, uh -oh. yeah, uh -oh. is to even. Um, Chop them even yeah, more. Exactly. I Chop see. Got to cut them in smaller really, pieces. Here. Really, really, really dice finer, those guys huh? up. And I'm actually yeah. I've done the same with my uh, tomatoes. Yeah. yeah. So they're even smaller than bite size. Wow. You know, we have a lot of restaurants in downtown Mountain View. I've heard that right now we have over 100 restaurants there and over 200 in the city now. That's amazing. And uh, 
So, I mean, you know, there's a, we're, we're getting to be a bigger city now, right? I hear that uh, 74,000 people in the last census. Yes, and I think they all eat out. Yeah, you know? <laughs> that so, could very well be. Yeah, that could yeah, be. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So, um, so, but what do you think about it? Like some people talk about this idea of the Manhattanization of Mountain View, yeah. that we should become like that and lose our small town feel and, and just, just go for like, like the for super broke. urbanization. Go right? for broke, yeah. Let's what, just, what, what, what's your thought on that? Yeah. I mean, and what have you heard from residents around yeah. the city? Well, I think it's, it's pretty clear. When I talk to residents, um, people want to grow in a, in a smart way. Mm -hmm. um, but m at least the residents that I talk to, they're not really interested in growing um, you know, like a weed. Okay. People want some some thought behind how we grow. And actually, if you look at smart growth principles, mm -hmm. that's it's all about growing sustainably and growing within the margins and within the um, the framework mm -hmm. of your city. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if you're a city like us that you know we have 12 square miles, mm -hmm. then we're not going to be a city of 150,000. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can't double our size. Mm -hmm unless we want to ruin the quality of our life. Yeah, I think that's that's really sensible. I mean, like it says here on the apron there, good food, good life, and that's one of the things we want to keep, we like keep that. here in Mountain we View. We like that, yes. Yeah. I think it's, um, yeah. uh, I don't know about you, but when I walk around downtown Mountain View, I'm just always impressed with um, the city that we have today mm -hmm. and the fact that it's, it's a destination. People mm -hmm. actually want to come see it. As a matter mm -hmm. of fact, you know, I keep on thinking, maybe we need, um, I don't know, like tours of Mountain View. Do you think people mm -hmm. would come and take tours of Mountain View? I think View? so. You know, downtown, we've even had like tours of the historic buildings you that know, and stuff like that. Yeah. And that's always been kind of cool and, and people are always interested because they, they love to walk through our neighborhood and see, you know, the beautiful homes and they, they kind of sometimes wonder, well, what's on the inside? Yes. I mean, sometimes you see that in open houses, but only oh, if they're yeah. up for sale. Yeah. The historic homes, it doesn't happen so often. So. That's true. I guess we could yeah. kind of do it without... Wow. Offering our house up for sale, then. but 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 we're also you know like a, a high tech uh, center here in Mountain View. Right? Yes, we are. And uh, you know, I mean, uh, we have one one company that's that's um, a, a really large one. So I mean, there must Do be we? some. Yeah, I think so. Oh, I think we have several companies. Several that are of them. Very big. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. It's just amazing. So you you've met with a lot of company leaders, right? When you were yeah. mayor, in particular, yeah. right? Yeah, when you're mayor, you, one of the fun things you do is um, corporate visits. Uh -huh. So, um, and I know being in the tech world, you know, we used to do executive briefings, and mm -hmm. this is much like that. I see. So, um, oh, good, take the initiative. Great. I'm, I'm Open trying up that to do can. that. They tell me to do that at work. Good. And then after that, you're also going to. Uh, uh, am I? Um, can you know how to separate a, a garlic? Mm, you I'll, might have I'll, to help Okay, me with I'll that do one. it, and then we'll do the. You can uh -huh. chop up the cloves. But um, yeah, so as mayor, you talk to, to corporations and um, it, it's a fantastic experience because they enjoy being in Mountain View as much as we enjoy mm -hmm. having them. So mm -hmm. it is, it is That's just, wonderful. yeah, it's really amazing. Uh -huh. So we're pretty lucky. I think we've yeah. got a nice um, combination of established companies mm -hmm. as well as, um, I think the Mercury News called us Startup Central, mm -hmm. which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. It means that we're a good place. One of the oh my God, can I just tell you? Oh, let's talk a little bit more can about I just guacamole say, here. Yeah, no, I just yes. want to say <laughs> this is a perfect avocado. Why is that? And well, because it's it's still beautiful and kind of buttery inside. It's uh -huh. not too yellow and it has this nice rim of, of green. So this is a guacamole. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a, a good, this will make good guacamole. Mm -hmm. I just got so excited, sorry. There you go. Well, no, hey, bit. that's good. We're, this is a cooking show. <laughs> oh all, yeah, that's right. right. So cool. So, um, so what do you think some of the challenges we're going to be facing over the next few years here in Mountain View are? Um, other than trying to take the guacamole, uh, I mean, the avocado <laughs> yeah, out of the... Uh, yeah, that's a very, the, very the uh, local challenge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I think we have the challenges that we have in, in the Bay Area, which is, you know, how to grow, um, how do we have more, um, well, how do we have more? How do we have better quality of life for everyone that lives here? Mm -hmm. Because everyone that lives here doesn't live in a million dollar house. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and I think it's really important that um, Mountain View continues to have its diversity. Mm -hmm. One of the things I've loved about Mountain View is that, you know, if you um, go to any of our restaurants, mm -hmm. um, the person that's serving you may well also live in your neighborhood. And I think that's mm -hmm. pretty cool. That's you know, I, like, I like that um, yeah. welcome sense that, that Mountain Absolutely. View has. And I think that keeping that sense of diversity, if you will, and mm -hmm. that everyone can live here and everyone mm -hmm. can feel welcome. I think that's so important. Mm -hmm. um, so I want to keep that up. I want to make sure that we have, oops, I'm going to take off these oops. brown <laughs> things. Yikes. We don't want those. Okay. 
All right. Mm -hmm. What else? Uh, so one of the things people ask about is like, you know, we, we've had a number of important development projects mm -hmm. here in the city. Mm -hmm. And they just, you know, uh, it's, it's kind of amazing, you know, as, as, a, as a neighborhood Yikes. leader, you know, when these things first get announced, people will start asking me a lot of questions about, mm -hmm. you know, how they're going to have to change their life when all this is happening. And I'd right. say like, uh, probably, you know, construction won't happen for another year, maybe two years. Why, why does everything seem to take so long? Um, I think things take a long time because we want to make sure that we involve everybody. Okay. And, and everybody means, in this case, the neighborhood. Uh -huh. Um, and we go through the um, engineering requirements and the mm -hmm. environmental requirements. So it's really a good thing. Mm -hmm. And I remember one of the reasons that I got involved in the city is because there was a great big um, development taking place. Okay. Um, when I was living over at the old mill on Showers Drive, mm -hmm. the crossings was going in. Mm -hmm. And I thought, oh my God, this is just going to be the worst thing that has ever happened. Mm. And it wasn't. Uh -huh. I was completely wrong. It was, uh, it, you know, the crossing has, is, is, a, is, a, is a wonderful fit in mm -hmm. that neighborhood. So sometimes, you know, what we dread, it doesn't really turn out as badly as we thought. So mm -hmm. that's good. And the, the other thing is, it's a good thing that it takes a long time. So then it gives us a chance to get to know what the neighborhood's going to look like with all the changes that are coming oh, about. Good. So it's okay. That's a good point. You know, if, if somebody... Uh, heard about, I guess there's a couple things I'd ask. One is, is it, how do you find out about the developments that might be happening in your neighborhood? Um, well, one of the things we started in the past couple of years um, through council is that we asked the planning department to start posting mm -hmm. at that site if there's something that's going to be going in. So mm -hmm. if you walk past San Antonio Center, uh -huh. then today you'll see a great big poster that shows you exactly what's going on. Oh, so that yeah. helps a lot. Yeah, I love those diagrams and stuff like that. Yeah. It's so much better than just the words. Yes, Right. yes, and that's you'll see that mm -hmm. all over. Mm -hmm. So and, because and this if, is, can I just oh, say, sure. because this is a perfect um, avocado, it's wow. also really mushy, <laughs> and so I'm making quite the mess. Feel free not to make this mess if you're making guacamole at home. Mm -hmm. Or you can make a mess. It's all going to be mushed up. Okay. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, I think we probably have enough because these are big avocados. I'm just going to use the mm -hmm. one. And then we can start. Wow. Oh, you know what we haven't done yet? What's that? The garlic. Oh. Oh, Well, we're going to yes. have to figure out. I, I think so. I'm not. Well, do I go after this with a knife or? How do I yeah. get it open? <laughs> You're just going to have to show me. I'm, I am just okay. not the cook. I guess not. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to try, if you feel the, um, let's say you've never done this before. If, if you feel the uh, garlic, there's actually going to be a f indentation that you'll get. And you're going to uh. try and break that apart. Okay, uh, wow. Which I'm trying to do. There we go. All righty. Okay. This is the thing they call the clove, right? Yes, it is yes. the thing they call the clove. <laughs> yeah. It is an That's education right. for you me, know, Laura. When we, were, when we were practicing at your house, uh -huh. your wife did all of this part. I yeah, forgot. I know. That's I the forgot. problem. And we should have had her on and camera. And she was you know? very good at that. Yeah. yeah. And she had that great tool. Yeah, she so, did. It was yeah, garlic to, press, right? Yeah, that was fantastic. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll do better next time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> mm. That was amazing. Mm. Okay, so we're doing it the old-fashioned way. Here we go. It's kind of annihilating the poor little garlic clove here. That's okay. We'll be fine. Let's see. So we're peeling the garlic clove and solving the problems of Mountain View. There you go. I like it. So Okay, so just um, slice this very thinly, okay. and then you're just going to chunk it all up. Here comes some more work for me. Yes. There we go. Okay. Yes, indeedy. That's right. Keep me out of trouble, you know. That's right. It's like all those community uh, community events and stuff like that. That, that uh, That's why we do people the things we do. Get involved. Well, you know, um, before I even started working on uh, the, the city commissions, I was involved in some nonprofits. Mm -hmm. So if anyone's interested in, in being on city council, mm -hmm. I, I really, really think that's a great thing to do. And I mm -hmm. also was part of Leadership Mountain View. Mm -hmm. I was one of the first classes okay. in Classes 92. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So I really recommend that you do that. But but let's say some uh, resident or something like that is has a concern about something that he's heard about. I mean, how does he 
let people in city government yeah. know about that. There's tons of ways. That, you know, if you want to do, if you want to just do this through email, mm -hmm. then there's Ask Mountain View. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to give a call, you just call up to the city clerk's office, and that's six five zero nine zero three six three zero four, and you just you know can express your your issue, whatever mm -hmm. that issue is. Um, you're always feel you know feel free for any resident. They should feel free to, to contact any of the council members, mm -hmm. and we're happy to meet with them. We're, you know, we all, all of us do different things. Uh, mm -hmm. I do, I work um, mm -hmm. outside of council, um, but I'm always ready to meet on the weekends and mm -hmm. between, you know, after office hours too. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so there's neat. lots of ways to get. You know, through. I'm I'm absolutely amazed at how much time the, the council members have given us. <laughs> you know, uh, out of their because Me too. I mean, you know, it, it unlike some cities, it isn't like a, a super high paying job. You, yeah, you don't do it for the money, it's yeah. true. It's, it's, it's true. a real but it's a fantastic reward. service. Yeah, thank you. Yes, yes, so so we thank you for, for that. Oh, thanks. Okay. Okay, so, I think we're ready to like yeah, get this time all to mix together. This together here. But I I'm ready. Uh -huh. So I am going to take the tablespoon of the garlic. Mm -hmm. And then I'm actually not gonna put in all the onions because it just doesn't need that many. Okay. I'm just gonna put in about Three tablespoons. Mm -hmm. I guess that's about three tablespoons. Okay, sounds Works good. Works for us, right? There we go. Okay. I'll find another use for those. That's right. That's right. And then we're just going to mush it all up. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we didn't get to the chilies We yet. need some chilies. So, actually, you want to put about three tablespoons of chilies in there. Okay, let me try to do that. All right. Okay. There's one. There's one. Then one and a half. Two. And three. All right. Okay. It's perfect. Yeah. We've got a nice guac going here. Mm -hmm. Now, um, we were given this masher, so yeah. I, I think we need to I think to you mash. better use that. I think yeah. you should mash. Oh, okay. And yes, I better mash quick because so, we only got a few more minutes Oh, well, then left. perfect. We'll, we'll yeah, just, just in time. Yeah, I don't know if I'm, uh, That's, wow. Yes, that is a fantastic mashing. <laughs> and you are a fantastically complimentary lady. <laughs> well, you know, it's nice to have an assistant. Uh, Very good. How about if I, I let you try to finish okay, this? Okay, I'm going to finish I mean, it up I, and, and uh, uh, because I'm just, just it, it doesn't look as elegant as it should. Oh, no, it, it's perfect. It's really nice. And when you have this type of guacamole, um, it is going to be chunky, mm -hmm. and that's part of the fun of it. Um, at some point, I was going to try and make my mother's guacamole, which is mm -hmm. exactly the opposite of this. It's very okay. It, it's um, very creamy, and this this is chunky. It's kind of fun. Uh -huh. so, so you're putting in a little sea salt. I did. I put in some sea salt, uh -huh. which is a kind of a nice little touch. Mm -hmm. And there mm -hmm. we are. We're pretty close to it here. All it's right. it's it's a guac. That it's a wrap. That, it's a guac. It sounds pretty cool. It All looks right. pretty cool. Do I get to try? Please, go oh, ahead. Oh, are you going to try first or should no, I? No, you should try. Oh, you're so sweet. Let's see. Let's All dig right. in. Dig in. Okay, here we go. This is the best part of the show. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, okay, mm, great. Thank you, Laura. Oh, well, thank you. Mm -hmm. This is really fun. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, yeah. Mm. That's nice. It's not spicy at all. Mm -hmm. It's just a little, little small heat. Okay. Okay. Um, so any, any, uh, any parting words here as we uh, um, wind down the guacamole in our discussion of Mountain View you politics? You can use this on your salad. You can use this with your chips. You can use this on your tortillas. Mm -hmm. You can use it in your falafel. Wow. It can. It's just like Mountain View. It's Have you very ever thought universal. of opening a restaurant? No. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> I'm happy but, to make but things. But you were kind enough to be persuaded to come by and help us with this. Oh, yeah, this today. is really fun. Okay, oh, okay. that's really happy cool. to do it again sometime. Yep. Yep. yep definitely. Okay. All right. Okay. So, so, so what are uh, we have about 30 seconds left? What are your parting thoughts? Um, let's see. If you're going to make guacamole, make sure your ingredients are all fresh. That's mm -hmm. the best part. Um, but you can cheat with uh, chilies. I like Ortega. You know, been, been around in the family for a long time, so that's cool. Um, but everything else is is completely fresh, and I highly recommend that. Mm -hmm. So that's that's okay. my advice. Well, thanks very much, Laura. I appreciate your being here. I appreciate learning how to do something more yeah, in the kitchen. Look what Even you my did. wife will appreciate. <laughs> Maybe she'll have me make this for her sometime. That'd be great. And uh, and and thanks for all that you've done for our city, and and we'll be doing in the next couple of years here. Well, thanks. So my pleasure. Great. Okay. All right. Ah, let's, Ooh, oh, let's go let's for try some, more. some more. Okay, <laughs> that's right.
Hello, welcome to Impact. Today, my guest is Laura Macias, and she is a, a longtime member of the City Council of the beautiful city of Mountain View, California. And my name is Jack Perkins. We're here to talk about Laura's favorite animal today. And um, what's his name? Well, I'm not talking about the rest of City Council. I'm actually talking about Tucker. Okay, Tucker. Where yeah. is Tucker anyway? Hmm, I think he's here somewhere. Hey, here, Tucker. Tucker. Come on. Tucker, come on. Yeah, get up here. Ah, had a dog. So Tucker, Tucker's a girl. He, uh, oh boy. He's a boy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, Tucker, meet Uncle Jack. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, he's ready to meet you. Yeah. Looks like he wants a treat. So. Um, how long have you had Tucker as a as your friend? Oh, I've had Tucker for about four and a half years. Mm -hmm. um, he came from the Humane Society, mm -hmm. um, like my last dog did. So it's a great way to get your pet. I highly recommend it. Although it's kind of like mystery person, you never know what you're going to get. And That's true. Yes. Uh, but you you got Tucker as a puppy. How how many weeks old do you think? He was. They said he was eight months old. Oh well, yeah. that's that's pretty. That's an old puppy. Well, yeah, he was young enough. He definitely uh -huh. acted young and ate enough things in the house. That Does he get he along with other to... dogs pretty well? Yeah, oh. he's, he's great with other dogs. So he might have been pretty well socialized when whoever had him before. You think? Um, I think he was a feral dog. A feral so. dog. <laughs> yes. Really, like in a pack? Yes. Maybe that's why yes. he gets along with other I, dogs. I think, I think he lived on his own. Uh huh. And, Does he ever go out and forage and bring yeah. home uh, squirrels and well, things? Well, he likes yeah. to bury things. Really? And, yeah, okay. he likes to chase things. Like and, what? Um, Kids? Squirrels. 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 Okay. He's, he's pretty much attached uh -huh. to chasing squirrels. Uh, yeah, I should have asked you. Does he bite? Um, he hasn't yet. Okay. So good luck with that. Okay. Good. <laughs> yeah. Good. And uh, just what kind of dog you got here? Well, and I think he's also a delivery truck dog because uh, whenever the FedEx guy comes, or the post or the UPS guy, he r wants to run and jump in his truck. Oh, really? Yep, yep. There's something about there's something about the truck that he he thinks is fascinating. Maybe you should so, teach him to fetch you something out of that truck. I should. I wish I could, yeah. but he's um, he kind of scares the heck out of the delivery guys. But have they he ever loves driven it. off with him? They no. They've sort of. Tried to <laughs> drive, uh -huh. drive out without uh, delivering the package, but How about no, that? he's good. A FedEx dog. Yes, a FedEx dog. Hmm. Isn't that true? But uh, he doesn't like the U.S. Post Office mm -hmm. dog. Do you, uh, does person. Tucker have a lot of liberties in your house? Get on the furniture? Do well, it pretty much anything you want. We try not to get him on the chairs. This is a very special occasion mm -hmm. since we're talking to you. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we like to keep him off the the nice flagel chairs. So, mm -hmm. but. Every once in a while, he has been known to jump on the couch, and so I'm I'm living with my nicely reupholstered couch uh -huh. through uh, Sterling Upholstery, uh, Mountain View reupholster. Oh, okay. Um, and it comes as a result of Tucker enjoying the couch a little too much. Oh, all right. And what about uh, this is kind of dog that that will shed, right? So how just do you deal with that? Well, you know, vacuum cleaner. Did you say just a little? Just a little. <laughs> well, yes. Okay. <laughs> well, a lot of vacuuming then. Lots of vacuuming, lots okay. of sweeping. Is he a good watchdog? Does he uh, protect you? Yeah. Do you think yeah. he would like attack someone that was coming after you with bad intent? Um, yeah, I think he probably would. He's, he's mm -hmm. pretty protective. Mm -hmm. He takes his job very seriously in terms of protecting the house. Okay, and, that, that's um, always good to know. Yeah, yeah. I hear that dogs are the best um, burglar prevention. Right. Have a dog in the house barking. If I heard this dog barking when I was coming to the house, I don't know that I would mm -hmm. want to come in unless I knew that the dog was safe. So yeah. Okay. It's very, it's very good. Very, very Is good. Is Tucker the kind of dog that will like eat until they die, but you no. have to like keep the food away from him no. like a lab? No. Uh -uh. No. He's, he's. Um, he, I had a my previous dog would would eat constantly. This one is much more interested in interesting things like squirrels. Oh, okay. Or a comfortable bed. As how you how can about see, cats? How does he do with cats? Does he want to kill them? No, he just likes to chase them. Uh huh. What about kids? Does friends. he want to bite them? No. No? No. Okay. No. That's good. You're tormenting my poor dog. No, well, no he doesn't. Know. He he thinks uh, short little people are really interesting. Okay. He actually used to, likes to sort of taste their hands to see if they have anything interesting. Mm -hmm. You know. What's the the worst thing he's ever done? It's a long list. 
Just so it's, give me one near the top. Yeah, well, well so here's, here, let me give you the story. So the story is I, I got the dog after having my dog for, my other dog for about 12 years. And so I basically I had a senior dog and I sort of forgot what it was like to have a puppy. I know, I'm gonna tell the story, hang on. And um, so I got him from the Humane Society the same night that we had a council meeting. And I really didn't mean to get him that night. It's just that I went to the Humane Society and I had already adopted him. And they said, okay, here he is. Tonight's the night. Tonight's the night. We've already fixed him. Take him home. And I... Um, you mean so fixed him? Fixed him, okay. yes. <laughs> fixed him. They hadn't bathed him, so he's kind of a stinky fixed dog. Mm -hmm. And But I had a council meeting to go to. So I had to take him into the council meeting, but obviously... You did not see this did dog. Did he have like the collar on? <laughs> yeah. That, that they, okay. No, they didn't give him a collar. Um, but he still wasn't very happy. And I, I sort of needed to figure out what to do with him. So I locked him into the council room bathroom. Mm. And, um, it, you know. The men's or the women's? It's We have a unisex in the council. It's just a, you know, small area. So um, he was, he sort of made noise. And then when I came at the end of the night, it was sort of like a, there had been a, a frat party, you know, there was paper towels everywhere and he'd pulled the pa all the, the You went pretty wild paper. in there. Yes, yes. Did you call him Tucker with an F when he did that? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I thought, what am I doing with this dog? Mm. I must be crazy. It was, it was the year that I was mayor, so I had a lot going so, on. So you, you, weren't, you thought maybe you made a mistake. I did. Getting a dog at that point. I did. Especially an eight month old rambunctious dog. Yes, okay. yes. And then I realized that he wasn't quite trained in terms of knowing that he shouldn't, you know, chew up sofas or mattresses, mm -hmm. bedspreads, pieces of clothing, doors. How long did it take you to fall in love with him? Oh, probably like the third day. Really? Yeah. So like on the second day, you still had thoughts of taking him back? Oh, I still thought of taking him back about three months ago, yeah. Yeah. But, you know, because <laughs> he usually gets into something. If you ever want to get rid of him, I'll take him. Yeah, no, he's, he's yeah, stuck he's, with me. I'm stuck with very, him. He's very intelligent and... Uh, He's listening to every word. He really is. I'm you know. a little nervous what he's going to do when he when we get home. He's, so that's my dog. Well, it's a great dog, and uh, I um, I wouldn't mind having Tucker myself. So can't have him. Oh, I know. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks for sharing him with us, Laura. I really appreciate it. And um, we're running out of time. Okay. So I'll have to uh, say good day to you and, and Tucker, and I'll see you around town when you're out going for a walk, and I'll have my dog out for a walk. That sounds Just good. Just like we've we'll met before. We'll do doggy walks. Great. All right. Thanks for coming. Nice to see you.